Alrighty everybody, today we're going to try out the Harbor Freight paint gun. We're not just going to try out any paint gun, we're going to try out the cheapest paint gun that they have. We're going to go ahead and spray some 2K primer. Now usually with the 2K primer you want a little bit bigger of a spray gun. Um, I don't know exactly what this nozzle is, it's probably like 1.2 or something. I think it's been a long time. I think it's like a 2 nozzle? I don't know. It's been a while. This gun is a 1.4 nozzle on it. And I, I think it is a 2.0 nozzle that people usually use for primer. So we're just going to go ahead and make some up. And if it doesn't work, if it's too thick, we're just going to go ahead and reduce it a little bit. I'm not really trying to do anything other than get it all in one color. Uh, so I can kind of just look at it and see how it looks. Uh, I'm not really a body guy, so I kind of I kind of need it all one color because with everything going on, it's hard to tell for me. I cannot see. I'm legally blind. Usually with these guns, in my head. they come pre-oiled, and as you can tell, that's not gonna spray well. You can you can see all the oil in it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pull it apart. We're gonna clean it with some acetone, and then we'll spray and see what happens. This is just what's left over after wiping and everything. Running some acetone through it, you can see it's kind of yellow. That's from the oil. We're going to go ahead and clean the nozzle out. And then we're going to assemble it. And I'm going to try to spray. I've used these guns before and they work pretty good. But uh, this is some pretty thick primer. I believe this is high build as well. It should work out well. One that paints all the time already knows that the oil will definitely mess up everything uh, painting. But just... You know, so people that uh, might be trying to paint for the first time watching the video, that's why we're cleaning. Been trying to spray this thing for like three days. Every time I go to spray it, something pops up. All right, well, back to Harbor Freight. Just back from Harbor Freight, and apparently we're not using the cheapest gun because they had nothing but this setup and the $200 guns and I wasn't buying a $200 gun from Harbor Freight because it is Harbor Freight. Comes with two guns and apparently we're fancy. We have a bigger tip for primer. So I guess we're going to try that out. <laughs> this gun also is pretty greasy in there. They, it's actually it's a really nice gun. Well so far it looks like it let's take it apart clean it and go from there here's the old tip if anybody's wondering the only thing you have to do is unscrew the tip here take the back off you got a spring and then this should slide right out and replace it with the bigger one it's exciting i've never actually used the bigger one professional stepping up moving up in the world after I wipe it out, I just run some stuff through it a few times and get all the grease or oil out. Okay, this is four to one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on the cup. We're gonna find four to one, and then we're gonna figure out if we wanna go one, two, or three. Because after you mix it, it's going to be one, two, or three there. You put your first part and then your second. So you kind of just go by the second mark on it to see how much you actually want. It's always fun when the primer sits around for a little bit. Yeah, it makes it up real good. See how, see how thin it is up top? This is going to take a minute. Usually when you buy primer, they uh, mix it up for you. Pretty sure there was a new guy there. So, here I am. Dude, that stuff's thick at the bottom still. I've been mixing it for a few minutes now. You gotta make sure you get all of it. You don't want none of that getting in the gun. I went up to the first one just because... Um, I don't know how much I need. I can always make some more after. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and blow it off one more time, wipe it down, and we'll start to spray, see what happens. I'm feeling pretty good about this gun because it's actually a lot nicer than the ones I usually use. I'm going to let you guys know right now, that's not enough primer to do anything. We'll see how far we get. I only have it at about 25-ish pounds. Um, I'm gonna spray it like that and then adjust it as I go and see what sprays the best. Back 
here you can see all the little teeny dents and stuff and that's basically the reason why I just threw it in primer uh, for me I'm not a body guy so I just you know I can I don't see all the crazy little stuff going on but once it's in primer you get a way better idea of what you're actually working with the areas to work on and all that I got it pretty decent earlier just sanding it down this is what happens when you don't clean either the surface good enough or the gun I'm thinking it was just the surface because the rest of it, I started out on the top and there's no fish eyes going on. So this must have been something that was on the quarter panel. I can clean it up real good, sand it down and fix that area. After spraying, the easiest way to get most of the primer or paint or anything out is just run some more acetone through it or whatever you want. But acetone works good for me. I was a tad bit worried that this was going to be too thick, but I put a little run in it, so... I guess it's all right. Also, this is probably the worst time possible to spray because it just got real cloudy out and I'm sure that moisture is just great. Gonna get locked in there and rust it all. I don't know. I'm not a painter. Usually if you run acetone through it about three times, it's pretty dang clean. You should probably still take the gun apart. I'm not going to. I'm not a painter. Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it i mean it, it was only a couple dollars more i think it was twenty dollars more or thirty dollars more and it came with two guns and different nozzle sizes so actually this is a way better value than the cheapest gun which is the one i usually use it's like seventeen dollars or twenty dollars and other than a little spot right there it turned out pretty well i'm gonna call it a day on this episode if you guys enjoyed like subscribe or don't it's up to you if you do want to see more i'll see you next time you're still here it's over go home